When the producers of illicit street drugs put fentanyl into their products, they're not doing it because of the potentially dangerous effects. They're doing it in spite of them. The reason they do this is because of the bottom line. The drug cops tell us that no drug dealer or drug producer wants to kill their customers. After all, that's bad business. However, they're willing to put their customers' lives in jeopardy, potentially, by putting the very potent, very dangerous drug fentanyl into these products because it gives them a chance to maximize their profitability. One drug cop we spoke with said the motto is weight yields profit. So a kilogram of fentanyl can go a really long way in producing a ton of tablets or a ton of other kinds of dangerous drugs. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid. It's similar to morphine, but 50 to 100 times more powerful. So that power is where the danger comes from for a potential overdose, but it's also where the potential for profitability comes from. In some cases, fentanyl is mixed with weaker heroin and other, cu and other cutting agents, which is a way to produce a more powerful product and more of it. In other cases, we've heard police have found high quantities of pills disguised as the powerful prescription painkiller oxycodone, but on analysis, those pills actually contain nothing other than caffeine and fentanyl. Most of the fentanyl in the Canadian black market is believed to be imported in from out of the country. However, cops have told us that they have found domestic production labs, so it is produced here as well. And at the end of the day, one thing that makes these drugs so dangerous, police tell us, is just the inherent uncertainty. There's no quality control at these facilities. There's no sanitation. The dosage could vary wildly. And that uncertainty, paired with a recreational user's lower tolerance, perhaps, can sometimes be deadly.